Praise them. Hallelujah. What's going on, everybody? As I'm uh, in our car, the blessing that the Lord blessed us with. Um, it's just the nicest vehicle I've ever had. And me and my wife share together. And we share so much together as uh, this husband and wife. I uh, Being married in holy matrimony with our Lord God Almighty. And uh, we just uh, waking up this morning and uh, spending time with God and praying for everyone out there sick and today is the sabbath day it is saturday uh friday at sunset till uh friday uh, saturday at sunset is um the sabbath day uh, it's the day the lord rested after he made the heavens and the earth and laid out the the clouds and the sky and the water and separated everything and and just all the beautiful creations it's like whoo like wow we serve an almighty God, and uh, it, he's amazing in every way, shape, and form. I mean, um, any word to describe God, um, I always say awesome or dynamite or cool, right? <laughs> you know? Right? Or some big fancy words for just awesome and cool. That's that's my vocabulary words <laughs> for God. But any, <clears throat> I guess the best word to describe God is um, um, undescribable. Is what I've been taught because any other word would cut him short of all his glory. Hallelujah. As I look up into the beautiful sky, it's a little cloudy today, this morning, and uh, sun's trying to break through back there. It's just coming up. And it is the Sabbath day. And, you know, um, it's the Jewish law to keep the Sabbath. It was our, it was the law to keep the Sabbath, right? The Ten Commandments, you know, keep the Sabbath day holy. But unfortunately, people got to work. I think God knew that, obviously. And Jesus came and he fulfilled the law, you know, um, love God with all your heart and soul and your mind, you know, everything, just give God everything, love him with everything and love your neighbor as yourself, right? Those two commandments is what we need to follow. And we must love God and respect God. I'm not saying, um, forget the Sabbath day, ever, never, 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 never. Somebody said, be careful. God knows we have to work. And you know, it says the um, rest in him and you can go to work today and rest in God. I can do anything today shooting basketball if I want and rest in God but he just wants us to spend some time with him quality time but the Sabbath day was meant to put aside that one day God rested he wanted us just to chill out and relax unfortunately you know we got to work and make money for our families he understands when people don't don't worry about them we Jesus fulfilled the law um and we need to you know um just enjoy today and whatever you're doing working stay at home you know, put the remote down or when you're at work or just whatever, rest in God today throughout the day. And you will have, I mean this with all my heart and soul, you will have joy and peace through your whole day. I don't care how bad it gets. This is happening. This is happening. The world is literally falling apart around us. I mean, they're accepting evil for good and a lie for truth, allowing a man in a dress to walk into a little kid's bathroom. It's crazy. It's like, you know, if I put a Batman costume on, you're playing dress up. I'm living in a fantasy world. I'm delusional if I put on a Batman costume and think I'm Batman. It's not reality of God and truth and reality. So, you know, God's truth and reality is hated here in, in Satan's lying fantasy world. But I'm praying for everyone. I see so many men in dresses and, and I used to go, oh, man, this is sick and this and that. Now I just pray, pray, pray that they come out of the darkness of Satan and the lying fantasy world. He has them trapped in in chains and let Jesus, the chain breaker, break those chains, be free from the delusional way of thinking and living in a lying fantasy world to live in the truth and reality, be set free by Jesus Christ. That's my prayer for everyone out there pretending to be someone they're not in jesus name i pray amen hallelujah whoop, whoop. hey guys have a beautiful day um I, um I don't know where you're at in this big beautiful world what time of day it is but it's uh saturday here and we're just uh waking up and we're going to be serving the lord all day long spending and resting in him all day long at least i do because i like joy and i like peace <laughs> you know what i'm saying so I get distracted sometimes by some demon possessed people, you know, some temptations, this, that, or the other, some tough situations, but I go right to the Lord. If I was in the ocean drowning, this is my faith now, uh, everything I've been through, it's been nuts. And, uh, you know, my story is Joseph in the Old Testament, and I just grew so close to God. I'm, you know, not perfect for sure, but I know where my hope, my joy, my peace, my, my everything is found, and that's in God. If I was in the ocean, and a life preserver was next to me and I started to sink. I wouldn't look at the life preserver. I grab onto it, hold onto it for dear life. We're in a big ocean of life here and the undercurrent will try to take you under. There's sharks in the water, right? Meaning the demon possessed people and everybody out doing the devil's work trying to get us. 
God will keep us safe and protected, guys, you know, no matter what. But God will keep you afloat. Just remember, you wouldn't forget where that life preserver is. Don't forget where God is. He is truly our life preserver spiritually. Peace be with you. I got to get up here and open up the laundry mat so people can wash their dirty clothes. <laughs> Have a blessed day, everybody. I love you all so much. And uh, just enjoy this day. Could be your last. Make the best of it and let the Holy Spirit flow everywhere you go. Hallelujah.